around the corner, got them shades on my eyes. It's a pretty little thing by my side. That's flawless. Why you niggas still chasing roaches? Collecting all this money on the roads like I'm homeless. A nigga like me. Welcome back, welcome back. You know, this is Nikada Media. Also, you know, all to you again today. You know, good day to everyone. You know, thanks for supporting the videos, really appreciate it. And thanks for coming back again. It yeah, mean a lot, yeah, man. But you know, but this morning, you know, wake up and watching a few games. And you know, that Germany game, the big, big favorite Germany, you know, ranked number two in the world. They are out, you know, they drew one one with South Korea. and morocco beat colombia and that's it for group h you know jamaica going to play colombia next week choose it as five days time from now you know that game is early early in the morning so we need the people them to wake up out of them bed early choose it and support the girls you know as usual you know who haven't seen the girls play it you know make this be your first game because it's going to be a really banger you know colombia played a very below par game today you know, not expected from this Columbia team. As you know, this Columbia team is a very good squad. You know, I think they rank around at 27 in the world. You know, they got their big star player, Linda Caicedo. You know, the girl that played for Real Madrid. She's just 18 years of age. But, you know, but yeah, man, you know, just shout out for the girls, man, and shout out for the fans, them as well, you know, who travel to Australia. You know to see the games you know we're going to play next week choose it and we're going to need the support we're going to play in the same stadium that rectangular stadium in melbourne that's where the magic happened against brazil you know i hope that magic stayed in that stadium so you know we can do the same thing with with this colombia team you know they're going to come hard but you know the people them you know back home in the diaspora you know how can you not love what the girls have been doing like even if you are not a sports lover, I can understand that. But, you know, these things don't happen every day. You know, these are once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You know, just growing up playing the sports, like, you never really expect to see, like, your own country, you know, competing on the biggest stage of football, you know, qualifying for the knockout rounds. It, it's, it, it's, just, it's just a really good journey for the girls, you know. The, and they, they, they knocked out Brazil, like, I don't know if people really understand, like, Brazil is a really big team. Like, Brazil have, like, what, over 200 million people in their country, and Jamaica have, like, just over 3 million. You know, it's remarkable to see what the girls, you know, have done yesterday against a big Brazil team. Like, Brazil ranked, what, number 8 in the world? You know, and Brazil have one of the not one the, the biggest woman football player in history you know martha scored 17 goals on the fifa women's World Cup state not even the man don't have that record you know she's the all-time leading goal scorer in world cup both men and women you know so we're not talking about some local chicken feeding player you know martha is a big time player you know she changed the, the she changed the face of how people must view women football. And, you know it. It's really sad to see that you know who know if it's going to be her last World Cup. You know she haven't spoke about it as yet. You know, but um, what I say um, Sinclair. You know Sinclair from Canada. You know she's what 40, 41. And Martha is 37, so who knows if Martha have her next work up in her, you know, I, I, I would love to see her again, you know, she's still chasing, you know, that, that work up, you know, Brazil haven't won, you know, since in the 90s, this work up has, has organized, you know, but, you know, I just want to say, man, if this is Martha last work up, man, I really appreciate it, you know, and, you know, so, Martha is the one that, you know, caught my attention, you know, what? it was back in 2003, you know, first time watching a FIFA Women's World Cup, you know, she's the one that drew me to watching the game and, you know, I'm still here watching her after what, almost two decades now, or two, yeah, probably yeah, two decades now of watching Martha on the big stage, you know, it's, it's, it's really a good thing, you know, I really appreciate everything that she have done for the sports and, you know, inspire a lot of women around the around the globe you know 
just to know that hey you know you can do this too you know i'm not the only one can do it but really appreciate it man thanks you know thanks to to the brazilian star marta yeah big up but you know but you know i i remember you know when the news just broke when they said they were going to expand the 2023 fifa women's world cup and a lot of people were speculating like you know the women the women's sports is not really that strong you don't have a lot of strong women national team you know it would only get the World Cup weaken you know all of the things they were talking about at the time you know and they said they should just you know keep it at what it was at 24 at, at one point you know, it was at 16 you know they they should keep it at there you know it more competitive you know but watching this woman games you know it's everyone is competitive every team every team is competitive in this world cup you know and just to see even the great america you know they are they are the back-to-back -back world cup champion they almost got knocked out by portugal you know that that ball that hit the post in the 91st minute you know they could have packing their bags right now traveling back to the u.s you know this is football you know football don't live at any one yard you know it's level v 11 you know when that whistle blow it's it's a different game you know so everyone is fighting for that dream you know, that same achievement you know everyone is hoping to win the fifa women's world cup so yeah but you know um a lot of people been saying about the reggae girls you know we only scored one goal so far in the in the tournament but i want to say this man you see defense Defense is what is is what um win your tournament. You know, defense is what win your league titles. You know, so going into a tournament, you know, if if you can put in a good shift in that defensive line, you know, you you stand more than fifty chance of winning a game, especially moving into a knockout. Like Jamaica don't have to score another goal to win a World Cup. You know, we can play we can play all our game to a nil all draw and go on in penalty. I wouldn't shoot out, you know, penalty shoot out don't can can um don't can see that like we score a goal, you know, but we want to see the girls score, you know, we want to see them more attacking, you know, we want to see them still keeping that defensive shape, you know, but defensive what win your titles, you know, and I'm proud of Lord Lorna Daniels, the coach, you know, over the years when we when we run up on teams like Mexico. No, um, when we run up on teams like the U.S., Canada, you know, and other European countries, you know, we, we, we got spanked. We got spanked. And just to see that, you know, they did their homework and fixed that defensive line. And we only can see one goal in this World Cup so far. You know, it's only three teams have done it so far. You know, Switzerland, Japan, and, and the reggae girls, you know. But just... Just be patient with the goals. The goals will come, you know, and I would love to see Khadija Bonisha get her first FIFA Women's World Cup goal. You know, it would, it would mean a lot. You know, she's a star player. She's a captain. You know, she's a leader. She's everything for this team. You know, but yeah, you know, I want to get big up Sidon Amal, man, all the time, man. You know, the Bob Marley Foundation, you know, they have been doing a really tremendous work, you know, just by supporting this team. You know, even um, the parents, you know, you have a few parents for the reggae girls, you know, they have creating GoFundMe page and raising money, you know, just for supporting the girls so they can achieve their goals. And, you know, we we don't really want to touch on certain negative comment that, you know, we see going around. We just want to keep everything on the positive over here, you know, let everything stay on the positive note yet. So the more positive energy can go out there and you know it can relate on the girls you know too much negative swelling around and i'm not saying people must not talk about what been going on with the regular girls yet but you know it sometimes it's it's always good to keep your head forward and you know know where you're going and trying to reach that goal so but yeah man you know what's in this team and you know the team is getting better and better every time they play. You know, every time this regular team play, 
they only getting better and better and this team you know they were like youngsters you know most of most of them were professional in 2019 when they went to the first fifa women's world cup you know bonisha you know was probably like around 21 jody brown was like 16 blackwood was like 21 you know the keeper i think she was a teenager schneider you know it you know it was a very young team you know trudy carter you name it you know kanya plumber they were all early early 20s most of them were still in still in university you know so now they on the big stage more experienced they are professional you know they know how to conduct themselves you know they have a very good coach you know they have a better supporting staff you know to help them behind the scenes you know video analytics and you know getting them prepared on and off the pitch you know so you can see the work man you can see the work now this is what happens when you have good management behind you you know you only just need to focus on your game and execute you know what you're supposed to do as a player and you know this is a this is a part of the result and i'm telling you coming into the next World Cup, it's only going to get better because these girls have like one or two more World Cup in them and guess what there are going to be more girls that are going to come on board you know more girls from england going to you know look over the fence and see like yeah look is look look at what is going on down there in Jamaica, and I would love to be a part of this. And you know, they're going to come on board, and the team going to get stronger. You know, you're going to have players that one and two players that are going to drop out of the squad. But this regular girls team, they keep their core, and they have like 11 or 12 players that went to the last workup. And the same players I can can go to the next workup. So it's only going to get better. And guess what? the big bad canada you know they got knocked out panama got knocked out so we are we in america you know we are the one that flying the flag high you know for the Concacaf region and, you know america have a very big game coming up against sweden you know america is not playing at their best but you know that's america you cannot write them off but let's see how that knockout run but i hope you guys check out my video that i'm going to drop um tomorrow about um the group stage you know all the group stage matches are finished and we are on to the big set of rounds you know the round of 16 this is where everything going to go jingle bell you know one game and you out you know there's no room for mistake but i just want to say man this is nicada media house you know thanks for stopping by you know peace out Flawless, why you niggas still chasing routes?